two of protests in Catalonia against the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Emotional members of the Ukrainian community gathered here once again at Plaza Catalunya in the center of Barcelona, as well as in front of the Russian consulate. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Hundreds of Ukrainian residents as well as sympathizers, including Russian nationals, took to the streets of Barcelona today to denounce Putin's military intervention in their country. An even larger protest is planned for tomorrow. Russia's aggression has forced many to desperately flee Ukraine. The coach of the national women's football team and his assistant from Catalonia and Andorra are still struggling to find a way out of the country. Every, every, everybody was stopped, there was no chance of moving. So it was really, really slow. And with this feel that you need to move as fast as possible. The Mobile World Congress will begin in Barcelona on Monday, but one country's absence will be notable, Russia. Organizers removed the country's pavilion from the trade show, which they said now seemed, quote, irrelevant given the tragic loss of lives. Catalonia will propose lifting the mask mandate in schools in a meeting next week with Spain's regional health authorities. The health minister thinks that this measure should be eased for younger students first. Nosotros lo que diem és, home, fem un gradual. I aquest, aquesta gradualitat, per on comencem? Pels infants, no? Per l'escola. Carnival, Catalonia's first somewhat normal one in two years, kicked off last night with celebrations marking Fat Thursday. Festivities will take place in cities such as Barcelona, Sitges, or Vilanova y la Geltrú until March 2nd. That's it for the news this week in 100 seconds. Thank you for watching us and be sure to check out our podcast, which is released tomorrow, Filling the Sink, and will be on marijuana in Catalonia. You can also find more updates on our website and our social media throughout the weekend.